Hi, it's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away at blogspot.com. This is take two. Um, for some reason, my uh, video camera keeps shutting off on me, which is not making me very happy. But this is the flip through of um, the free play. If I had filmed um, my process of free play, the video probably would have been about six hours long, and I didn't want to bore you with all that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is the first page, and it's Thrill Ride, and I kind of, um, if you can see, there we go, I dotted in my Thrill Rides, and kind of hard to see, but there's blue dots in between the blue chevrons, and I used some white marker to um, highlight the one, two, three, four, five, and um, around here, around he around the heart and um, did some shading around the ready set go. You get these pages to turn. <laughs> I just think this is a fun page. I did some uh, scribbling or whatever, um, doodling around the edges and um, then I've never done this before and I just kind of doodled around the flowers. Actually I can't remember who I saw do this. I don't remember if it was Yvonne um, Gabe Hour that did it, or if it was Cat Hand, I can't remember. But anyway, one of the two I saw them do that, and I thought, what the heck, I'll try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know. Um, I'll just keep practicing because I think it's really pretty. But let me pull that up so you can see it. It's really pretty. I like how it kind of brings out the flowers, they don't just look like a mishmash of daffodils. So that's how that turned out. I'm trying to line this book up here. This page I didn't do a whole lot to. I just kind of outlined around her and added a little white to my read. Outlined the books a little bit better and did a little bit of stenciling down at the bottom. Try and keep that in frame for you. This page, well, you know, you do the best you can. I probably should have doodled around these flowers. Um, I had a border here, didn't like it, stamped over the border, didn't like it, so I ended up with washi tape around it, and then took one of my, um, one of these caps, I think it came from my water bottle, and uh, my spray bottle, and just put the dots on here, just to kind of dull this down a little bit. This guy's my favorite. Um, I had a lot of fun on this page. I just did some doodling around here and around pickled, outlined that, doodled on all the lids to the jars of the pickled vegetables and dots on the words and and uh, doodles and, high, and, and uh, shaded around the words and some washi tape and this is probably one of the most fun pages I've done. I really, um, I really, really enjoyed this page. This page is really fun too. This used to be, um, it was like a, an urn of flowers and they were spring flowers. And so I just doodled on the corners and then I took a sponge with acrylic paint, see if you can see that, and I just used um, a light purple, a dark purple, a pink and some white and sponged over where the flowers were and then doodled on the vase. And then I did some white dots all the way around. And uh, I just, I thought that was really cool. Butler Blue. There he is. Uh, can you see it? There it is. Butler Blue. And then on the bottom it says Hoop Dreams. And then on the basketball I wrote Chloe's birthday. 040411. That's uh, when she was, that's when she was born. And that was the night of the big game that we lost, by the way, to UConn, but oh well, that's okay. And uh, I'm going to have another grandbaby here this week, so which was uh, another real important reason why I needed to get this video done, because uh, Penelope Grace will be here on Thursday. My daughter-in-law is being induced, so I have another beautiful little girl to spoil and also teach her how to do art. This page turned out really cute. Um, but I'm trying to make sure that this is in frame. It's a little difficult. 
Um, with this one, I just um, did some doodling up and around here, and I shade, colored in the butterflies so they would stand out. It's just a pretty page. I am her voice. Sometimes I'm the voice for a lot of things, I guess. I'm the voice for kids who don't have a voice. And uh, to me, that's really important. And my dog. She just reminds me of my Sophie girl. Even though Sophie's black and this dog is white, my Sophie thinks that she's human. So she sits on the chair. She sits on my lap. Sometimes I think she's married to my husband. Um, yep, she's just... She's cool. She's a cool dog. But anyway, with this page, I just kind of um, toned down the dark blue with the same stencil, but just with a lighter blue paint. Added some um, washi tape to it and um, defined her legs in the chair so it looked like she wasn't like melting into the chair. This one, well, you know, it's a work in progress. What can I say? Um, I doodled around here. I, did, I was going to take it off, but I thought, no, I'm going to leave it and just doodled all the way around it and uh, added some washi tape and, and kind of doodled around the flowers a little bit. This one is gorgeous. Jennifer Anderson. She's just an all-natural beauty. Um, I just added some more blue stenciling in here and highlighted around my butterflies a little bit more and, and uh, around the the leaves and stuff. I love butterflies. I always try to put butterflies somewhere on all my work. This page, I Heart You. I colored in the butterfly and I and outlined the hearts. I did some doodling on the uh, on the banners here, and again a little bit more washi tape. This one, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be my favorite. Maybe I need to do some more to it. I'm not sure, but thought it was cute but it's just kind of there. I just kind of added some washi tape and um, outlined around Juicy Fruit a little bit more. This one, I, I, I don't know. I did the best I could on this one. It was, it, I almost feel like it was doomed to begin with, but I just did some outlining and added some music washi tape and outlined around, you know, the different objects and stuff, you know, different focal points in here and just called it a day. This one, I did um, some white marker around her dreams and with the little white dots of her dreaming. Then I outlined her dreaming. This one, um, I really kind of put some work into in really working with my doodling. Um, I had put, this was like yellow, I'm sorry, it was red, and then I put yellow in between it and then outline the flowers. If I can get this book up here, if you can see that. So that way the flowers, it stood out a little bit more. And then I doodled along the top. And then I doodled around the dance like nobody is watching. And then doodled on the post that the, uh, the other thing is. And uh, a little bit of washi tape and some light blue and did some dots around there. The Beauty of Reinvention. Um, on this one, but my light's really bad. Sorry, guys. Um, I just uh, doodled around the sun. And then I colored in my butterflies. And then put white dots on them. And then I put a box around here, but you really can't read it unless you're, like, right up close. But it says, invest in your passions and take risks to reach your fullest potential yet. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep uh, investing in my passion. And um, I'm going to take my risks and step out of my comfort zone. And I'm just going to keep on keeping on. She's cool. I got this. And all I really did with her is I just um, added a little yellow wash around to fill this in. And I had put some washi tape on here, but uh, it doesn't quite go. But it's on there. I'm leaving it. I'm not going to worry about it. But I think she just rocks. I think that's just cool. I got this. 
and time to go get totally ripped um, I just scribbled I put some washi tape and then just scribbled around it and scribbled around did some you know little loop-de-loop -loop things around the clocks and uh, that's pretty much all I did to that I mean that pretty much speaks for itself but I don't know him flying through the saloon door just cracked me up can you see that he's flying through the saloon door I'm sorry the glare is horrible and this one is go the distance times up and that's a wrap um, I just uh, did more you know around here and um, dots in here and shadowed around the hearts here and um, then outlined that in white and then doodled around the um, the journal spots and outlined the feet and the legs but um, that's the last page and that is my journaling by fives and I need to make a cover I think um, I'm going to finish actually actually what I think I'm going to do with these pages that are left I think I'm going to make like a junk journal kind of thing out of it because I've never done one before so what I think I'm going to do is just work on um, on doing envelopes on here pocket you know pockets on here and things that fold out I've never really done those before um, and uh, I've got if I can find it in this mess that I call a craft room which it is it's my craft room but see I already got this started from my next journaling by fives and it's ready to go actually and this is out of a a composition book I just tore the cover off I had to make sure I wrote front on here so I knew where I was going but and the pages have all been gessoed I think next time I'm not going to gesso the pages but I've got 20 pages ready to go and they've been drying for a while so they're probably about a week or so a week or two they're good and dry and ready to go so um, I'll get started on that but I'm probably not going to get started on this until after the baby's born because I've got my mom coming into town on Tuesday and that means I have my granddaughter Wednesday new babies coming Thursday I've got Chloe Thursday Friday but new babies coming on Friday so yeah I'm gonna have a household between my mom and the dogs and um, I'm just not gonna get peace and quiet to to lose myself in my artwork during that time which is understandable but I would truly like to thank Shannon Green for coming up with this concept um, it's just opened up a whole new world for me and um, really 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 helped me step out of my comfort zone and anyone who knows me knows that I am such a creature of habit um, coming out of my comfort zone is not an easy thing to do and I really push limits on that and it's my goal to push my limits even farther and to help other people do that as well so I really hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed my journaling by fives process and I hope you follow me on my next process of journaling by fives again and anything else that I should decide to create I will make sure that I'm sharing with you all so I hope you all have a really great day and a great night it's almost one o'clock in the morning here so i'm about done so have a good night everybody and we'll see you soon bye bye